Lloyd Duval, you made a nice race until that you make some mistake in some corner and you... I didn't you... do any mistakes. What happened so? I just uh, tried to overtake Justin, but uh, I have to say that Jano was always struggling in that airpin and he was stopping the car a lot. And then to overtake Justin, I had to be a little bit ahead of him, of him and uh, I've been a little bit ahead. But uh, as usual, Jano was stopping a lot in this airpin and uh, I touched him. But for sure, without uh, without team, I would have made the corner without any problem. So uh, it's. Uh, it's a race incident. It's, question uh, question of racing. And, but yeah, but sorry for for Yano, but it was uh, it was tight here anyway. Uh, how do you feel now that you are in a very important race next week? I feel good. I mean, I'm, uh, you know, I was uh, really I did switch my mind for the Formula E this weekend, but uh, from now on it's all about uh, about Le Mans. It's going to be a long week. It's going to be a long race, but I'm really looking forward I mean to, to go back to Le Mans to race these uh, fantastic cars on this fantastic track. And uh, how do you learn uh, driving these Formula uh, cars that are completely different and new technologies? I think that it's uh, very important for a professional career of a driver, no? Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's tough to, to drive those cars, I mean, to optimize everything. I'm still struggling a lot in qualifying, but in the races, I think we have the, the good package, the good setup. So, uh, I mean, uh, hopefully it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be good, good for the last one in London. Lloyd Duval for Electric Motor News, thank you very much and good luck for 24 Ore di Le Mans. Thank you.